Okay, this is the North End view. We're going to preview uh, in this little section, preview the game as Preston travel to Ewood Park this Friday night. We're also going to look back at the 2000s league victory last weekend against Coventry. And we'll also talk about how good Alan Brown is. Let's catch up with uh, Mickey, our resident North End expert. How are you, Mickey? Good, thanks, Mark. You okay? Yeah, I'm really, really good. Um, best in the back, aren't they? It was much more like it last weekend. Yeah, I think they played a lot better. The first half was a superb. Coventry didn't really, apart from scoring, which was about three miles offside, by the way. I don't know if you've seen the goal, but it was miles offside. And then Coventry's manager, Robbins, comes out and has the audacity to say that our goal's offside in the second half. And I'm thinking, well, you're, you've obviously not seen the first goal, then have you? But uh, yeah, really good performance, to be fair. I thought it was brilliant first half fully deserved and what Coventry do what Coventry do best and they just attack and uh, they obviously made a bit of a, get a fight of it but thankfully we was able to hold on on like against Southampton the week before Yeah a couple of draws now against some good good sides and the win against Coventry is this your purple patch over? I'd like to think so going seven games without a win was a uh, was it was complete stark contrast to us going seven games without losing and being top of the league and flying and then I remember having this conversation with you at that point. I said, "Look, Preston will be back soon. They will go. They will start losing games. And they will start drawing." But I think fans have been really grounded. To be fair, I think they was there. Uh, they took the wins when they came, and they took the hit when we got beat, and we were dropping points. And and it happens on the course of a forty-six game season. It, you're going to lose games. It's just how you sort of react. And I thought we were brilliant against Southampton. We were brilliant against Coventry. We're talking about Alan Brown, then. Um, you know. Oh. What superlatives are being used on the terraces to describe him as a as a, as a footballer and obviously his performances last weekend? Yeah, he epitomises what a captain is, doesn't he? He's um he's fantastic. He he works hard, and you can see in the way that he plays. He he obviously wears that captain's armband with pride. With pride, um, loves the club inside out. He's been here since he was some like 16, 17 when he signed from Cork. Um, he was it was there with uh, Josh Brownhill uh, at Preston many years back, and people were tipping Alan Brown to go and do bigger and better things. But it happened to be Josh Brown who that went on. Well, Alan Brown's been a great servant for Preston. He's a fantastic player. Um, very good talker. He obviously likes to speak to the fans uh, away from uh, away from the ground. And to be fair, he's, he's just a, a great person to have in the team. He's, he's one of them players that will he'll get stuck in when he needs to, but he can also calm the players down when things aren't quite going right. And he's just a fantastic leader. And, and I think the fact that you're mentioning it um, and that people are talking about him just shows just how influential he's on this team. Yeah, I think he got into the EFL Championship side of the week as well, which is, again is a. Uh, he's a bit like an unsung hero, to be fair. A lot of things that he does, you sort of like, you sort of miss him. It's a little bit like what Park would do. Park's his son for Man United. He would always he, he'd, he'd do all the dog, doggy stuff. He'd work hard and run off the ball, but never really get the credit because he would never be in, involved in a goal or never save a last ditch tackle. But he, he just works hard. He's a great workhorse. And I just think he's brilliant. Yeah. Let's talk about your waveform then, um, because um, traveling into traveling over to, to Blackburn uh, for Friday night, you you've lost three consecutive on your on your travels. Now, to be fair, that has been against Leicester, Ipswich, and uh, and Hull, so we couldn't read too much in shouldn't read too much in, into that. Um, but what needs to happen now, when you specifically when you're away from home, that we haven't seen perhaps in the in the month of October, is there a need to is there a change of shape needed or change of personnel when you're away from home? Uh, the last few games that we played, and a lot of Preston fans will agree with this. When we go one 0 down, Ryan Law puts us playing attack, and he want, it's almost like he's on FIFA and he goes gung ho. And then next minute we score one two, and as soon as you get the goal or we're in front, he reverts back to all out defence. I just think, to be fair, Blackburn will, Blackburn will play that attacking football at home, and and they're great at what they do at home. I think that will play into our hands a little bit because I think it'll allow us to. To play, but we, we seem to do pretty well against Rovers away. I mean, we won there last year 4 1, it was fantastic. Well, it wasn't really, I didn't really think it was going to happen, but I just think the way that, the way that it's a Lancashire derby, let's be honest, Mark, it's a Lancashire derby, forms out the window. I think it's whoever turns up on the day, but I just think you should just believe in the fact that when you're 1 0 up, just, just, I like guess Southampton, when we were 2 1 up from being 1 0 down. He just sat back and let Southampton well, and eventually scored. If we just carried on the way we were going, we probably would have won that game quite comfortably. But it's just one of them. Anything can happen against Blackburn, and hopefully we don't get beat because I've got many more of his fans uh, as mates. Just a word: Andrew Hughes is is in contention again to to return. Um, does he get recalled straight away on that on that uh, on that left hand side? 
He should do. Yeah, he's, he's, he's by far our best left-sided centre-back. He's, he's a fantastic player. He's a great... He gets up and down that wing superbly. Uh, he's a great outlet. He's got a great pass on him. He's also very tall and wins many headers. Um, he built that partnership with Jordan Story, which was obviously working very well at the start of the season. I don't think it's a surprise that when he came out of the team, we started conceding more goals. Um, but yeah, Cunningham's done a great job to fill for him. But yeah, absolutely. He must start. Absolutely. Okay, nice to say he's a Lancashire uh, hot pot derby uh, on Friday. Where did Blackburn then sit in terms of your dislike of of Lancashire teams? Obviously, the uh, the Tangerines, I'm guessing, will be at the top of that list. But where do, where do Blackburn rank? Um, well, Blackburn never really... We never used to dislike them at all. It was Blackpool, then Burnley more than, than Blackburn. But because, obviously, we've all spent many, time, many years in the Premier League, we never used to play them. Um, but then they won promotion at Deep Hill uh, back to the Premier League many years back in... We've never heard the end of it since. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're not exactly massive rivals, but it's nice to have them. Obviously, Blackpool going down last year was a bit of a... And it, well, last year, we had all four, didn't we? We had Blackburn, Burley, Blackpool and Preston. But um, it's nice to have that. Because I think we're taking 6,500 fans to Ewood Park. And um, Blackburn only ever take 2,000 to Deepdale because they don't see it as a big game, but we'd like to give them a bit of a use for it. Right, well, we're watching live on Sky this Friday as you freeze your, uh, you know, what's off on the terraces. Um, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll catch well, you. Well, thanks. I'm doing some media stuff with Radio Lancashire, so uh, I'll be in the stands, nice and warm, all oh, being yeah. well. <laughs> but um, it's it's a friendly rivalry. I think I, I don't want to say because Wolves are good at home. I think they'll want to get revenge on last year because obviously we turned them over quite convincingly. Um, I think it all just depends on 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 the way that Ryan Law sets up. If he goes with the traditional five at the back with three holding midfielders and no, I, I I can just see him just sitting back, sitting back, sitting back and just playing on the counter attack, which isn't our game, but he obviously doesn't want to lose. But it's like this is why a lot of, lot of people, when they see Preston on telly, they criticise Preston because they're quite poor to watch. There's never many goals, but, but that's purely because he just doesn't want to lose games of football. Just be brave and go and win the game. And then we'd be a much better team, prettier to watch on the eye, and people won't abuse us as much as they do. Enjoy it, Mike. Thanks so much. Yeah, cheers, Mark. Good a couple of weeks. All right. Nice one. Yeah, boy. Cheers, Thanks, mate.